Okay, welcome to the Initiating Alaris Primary ID Bag Setup MPC demonstration. So the first thing I need is to, step one, verify my order. So I would either find it in the chart as a new order and then have to transcribe it on my MAR, or I have it on the MAR. So in this case, it's on the MAR. And for Winnie the Pooh in bed 211, 1929, 569, I need a 250 milliliter bag of normal saline with 125 milligrams of diltiazem, cardazem, to infuse at 10 milligrams per hour I need you now. So my order's checked. Step two is assemble equipment. So I'm gonna take my MAR with me, come over to the med room, and I'm gonna find my IV bag. I'm gonna find the correct tubing. I'm gonna find a date to be changed sticker. So it's Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I wanna find the Thursday stickers. The rest of it is at my cart. Okay. Step three, wash hands. Step four, obtain IV bag from med room, which I did while I got my other equipment. Perform first medication check. Okay, so I need Winnie the Pooh, 211, 1929, 569, 250 milliliters normal saline, 125 milligrams deltaism at 10 milligrams an hour, IV do now. I have Winnie the Pooh, 1929, 569, deltaism, 125 milligrams, mixed on the 5th at 10.05, so it's still good, it expires on the 6th. It is, um, the main bag expires May of 15, it's normal saline, it's 250 milliliters, it's clear, colorless with no floaties, it's IV do now. <clears throat> Perform second medication check. So for Winnie the Pooh in bed 211, account 1929-569, I need 250 milliliters normal saline, 125 milligrams diltiazem, cardazem at 10 milligrams an hour, IV do now. I have for Winnie the Pooh, 1929-569, diltiazem, 125 milligrams, um, made on the 8-5, expires on 8-6 at 10.05 in the morning, so I'm good there. I have normal saline, 250 milliliters, expires May of 2015. It's clear, colorless, and no floaties. It's IV do now. Okay, now I'm gonna step six, put my gloves on. And once again, this is non-sterile gloves. Then I'm going to open my packet of tubing, step seven. So I have primary Laris tubing that expires 7 of 2017 and the package is intact. Okay, step move spike, grasp tubing in one hand, move spike above loop. Then I want to clamp the tubing off. Step nine is remove pigtail cap, so that refers to the bag. Step 10 is remove spike cover. Once again, once you take that off the bag, don't go over it with your hand. Then I'm gonna spike the bag. You need to dock this without contaminating your tubing. Twist it. Squeeze your drip chamber. Thirteen, hang it on the pole. Fourteen is invert your um, cassette. And then 15 is allow tubing to slowly fill with fluid, so I'm just gonna open it up. the 
that off. Sixteen was clamp it off. Seventeen is assess for air in my tubing. So I'm going to start at the drip chamber. And I do have some bubbles. Up. Okay, clean up mess and dispose of trash. And I'm going to calculate my IV flow rate. So I have 125 milligrams of drug in my 250 milliliters of bag, and I need 10 milligrams of drug an hour. So my volume 250 times my desired drug 10 divided by the drug in the bag 125 20 milliliters an hour and if I'm going at 20 milliliters an hour and I have a 250 bag that means I'm going to set my VTBI for 230 okay so I'm going to place the date to be changed sticker on my tubing so today is the 5th 6th 7th 8th Eight time is ten twenty five eight ten twenty and initials. So I've completely filled out the sticker. And then I'm just going to put it on my tubing. Okay, white label. So I want to put the um, date hung, time hung, and my initials. So 5, 8, 10, 20, SW. And then this little sticker just goes below the med added sticker on the back of the bag. Okay, so we are ready to go into the room. And hang this medication on the patient. So I need to take my MAR, and I need to take my bag, I need to bring some alcohol, and there are gloves in the room. I also need a syringe with saline in it for a flush. No flushes. All right. So I will head to the pharmacy to get a flush, and then we will be on our way into the room. Okay, so while my ABLE assistant is getting flushes, I will just review my next steps so I'm ready to go when I get into the room. So I wanna make sure I ID the patient, explain what I'm gonna do, then do my last med check because remember, legally speaking, you always do your third med check at the bedside. Okay, so we are just about ready to enter the room. All right, so 
So let's go into Mr. Pooh's room. So at the med cart, get a flush. We're good. Hi, Mr. Pooh. It's Susan, your RN for the day. And it is time to hang the medication that the doctor ordered. He ordered some Diltiazem, also called Cardizem for you. Um, do you have any questions? Um, it's going to help your heart to beat stronger and keep your blood pressure up while you're having your current heart problems. Any other questions? Okay, so let me go ahead and do a check on your armband here to make sure I'm in the right location. Won't want to give you the wrong person's medication. So, Winnie the Pooh, 1929 Winnie the Pooh, 1929 Okay, we are in the right place. So, let me set some of this down. And then I will do my third med check. I'm just going to do a medication check here to make sure this bag is the right bag. So, for Winnie the Pooh, bed 211, account 1929-569, I need a 250 of normal saline with 125 of deltizem at 10 milligrams an hour IV due now. I have, for Winnie the Pooh, 1929-569, deltizem, 125 milligrams, mixed on 8.5 at 10.05 in the morning, so it expires 8.6 at 10.05 in the morning. It is a 250 milliliter bag of normal saline, which expires May of 15. It is clear, colorless, with no floaties. IV do now. Okay. So I'm just going to hang this up, Mr. Pooh. Okay. And I'm going to put the cassette in. Latch. And now put some gloves on. I'm just going to put your bed up a little, Mr. Pooh, so that I don't hurt my back. Here. Okay. So, I'm going to check your IV site here. And it doesn't have any redness or swelling. Does that hurt when I push on that? Nope. Okay, and it went in today, so it's good. And... I'm going to do three med checks on my syringe and then flush your lock. Okay, so this is normal saline expiring. There we go. 12 of 2014. Normal saline expires 12 of 2014. Normal saline expires 12 of 2014. Okay, I'm going to cap it. Once again, once I have it uncapped, I have to remember that I have to keep that sterile. Go palm it. Clean this site with alcohol. Okay, I'm going to flush this with some saline. Let me know if this causes any pain. Does that hurt at all? Nope. Okay. So the next step is to flush the lock. Then I'm going to remove the tubing cap and hook this up. Open, gathered all my trash up. Okay, take a glove off here. And 
I'm going to turn the pump on. And it says, yes, clears previous data, which I want to do. Okay, so my rate is 20. Enter. My VTBI was 230. Enter. My VI is cleared because this is a new bag. So always check your settings, rate 20, VTBI 230, pump is cleared, press run hold. It's doing a self check, I'll hit continue. Okay, it tells me to eject the cassette. So I'll take it out. Put it back in. So always read the pump. If something's going wrong, it'll tell you what the issue is. So I'm going to watch for two drips. That was one. There's two. And then I'm just going to lock my pump. And the lock symbol showed up. So because it's a med, I had to lock it. All right. And the last thing I need to do, since I've cleaned up all my trash, is I would put Mr. Koo back to the ground, but I'm gonna leave him up so we'll save some time on these demos. I need to report and record on the MAR, so I'm gonna sign 10, 20, rate 20, my initials, and saline flush at 10, 20, my initials, and then I'm gonna sign the bottom S, Wessler, RN, and then put my initials in the initials box. I would gel in and gel out every time I came in and out of the room and complete within 25 minutes. Thank you.